Hi, I am Anupam. Let's understand business. In this present session, we shall be discussing about logistics management or simply logistics. The origin of the word logistics can be traced to the Greek word logistikos and the Latin word logisticus, both meaning the science of computing and calculating. The word logistics was first used by the French army and was extensively referred to during the Second World War for the movement of supplies, men and equipments. Logistics is a supply chain enabler. It helps in coordinating the inventory movement process by optimizing the flow of materials and supplies through the business operation to finally reaching the customers. That is, logistics is concerned with getting the products and services wherever they are needed and whenever they are required. It is rather difficult to visualize marketing or manufacturing without logistics support. Logistics as we discussed is that part of the supply chain process which plans, implements and controls the effective forward and reverse flow and storage of goods, services and related information between the point of origin and the point of consumption in order to meet customers requirements. Here we should understand that logistics is a part of the complete supply chain. Logistics includes customer service, demand forecasting, distribution communication, inventory control, material handling, order processing, part and service support, plant and warehouse site selection, procurement, packaging, return goods handling, salvage and scrap disposal, traffic and transportation, and warehousing and storage. Logistics, therefore, is the designing and managing a system in order to control the flow of material throughout an organization. Here we should understand that logistics is similar to a particular organization what supply chain is to the complete value chain of a product. In nutshell, logistics is a key to the success of supply chain management. Let us have a look on the objectives of logistics. Logistical systems is designed to achieve the following basic objectives for an organization. Rapid response, minimum variance, minimum inventory, consolidated movement, quality and life cycle support. Now let us discuss each of these objectives separately. Rapid response is concerned with a firm's ability to satisfy customer service requirements in a timely manner. That is, rapid response capability shifts the operational emphasis from an anticipatory forecasting and inventory stocking to responding to the customer's requirement on a shipment to shipment basis. The next objective of logistics is to minimize variance. Variance is an unexpected event that disrupts performance of the system. Variance may arise out of delays in expected time of customer orders or unexpected disruptions of manufacturing. It may happen because 
goods arriving at the customer's location may be damaged the delivery may be to an incorrect location the operational area of logistics are subject to potential variance with the use of it logistics tries to minimize variance in the operations the next important objective of logistics is to minimize inventory to achieve minimum inventory not only for each business unit but for the entire firm the logistical system design controls inventory commitment and the turn velocity inventory commitment or total commitment is the financial value of inventory deployed throughout the system whereas turn velocity is the rate of inventory usage over time the main objective here for logistics is how to minimize the financial value of inventory which is being deployed throughout the system at a particular time while also trying to increase the rate of usage or turn around of the inventory which is there in the system moving on the next objective of logistics is consolidated movement here we should understand that the most important logistical cost is transportation transportation is directly proportional to the type of product the size of shipment and the distance involved to decrease the transportation cost it is desirable to achieve movement consolidation to achieve it smaller shipments need to be grouped together for consolidated movements a good example of consolidated movement could be the car carriers which carry a number of cars in a single unit here you would be wondering why quality should be a objective to logistics well we should understand that when quality fails logistical performance needs to be reversed and then repeated thus commitment to total quality management or tqm is one of the major forces which contributes to logistics remember reworking on a customer's order due to incorrect shipment or due to in transit damage is more costly than performing it right the first time logistics is a main part of developing and maintaining continuous total quality management improvements finally moving on to life cycle support we should understand that today most of the products are sold with guarantees that they will perform over a period of time now imagine if a particular product does not then to ensure the guarantee a normal value added inventory flow towards the customer must be made a two way route that is the customer should also have the option and facility to return the goods back to the factory secondly product recall is an important competency that results from increasingly rigid quality standards product expiration dating and responsibility for hazard consequences additionally environmental concerns require the capacity to recycle and reuse ingredients and packaging materials where again a reverse logistic movement could be essential 
this is about logistics or logistics management for more on the topic you may refer to any of these books to which i have referred for further details or comments please contact me at anupamkr@gmail.com at thank you